Today we're going to shed light on print and cut. Hello everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. If you're a beginner and have not downloaded my free cheat sheet yet that will explain to you everything you need to know about the five primary functions of design space, well I invite you to do... Yeah, no, don't do it right away. Do it at the end of this video, but I will put the link in the description for you so you can get it. So we're going to talk about the fifth function of this cheat sheet, which is flatten. Now. I hear you saying, Natalie, you told me you were going to talk about print and cut at the beginning. Yeah, that's what's confusing. When you want to print and cut, you usually need to use flatten. Not always, but most of the time. So we're going to go in design space and I will show you everything you need to know. So for print and cut, you can either use image files that are JPEG or PNG, or you can also use a cut file, an SVG file, that you can transform to make a print and cut. So I will show you everything. Let's start by the JPEG and PNG. If you don't know the difference with both of them, the JPEG is an image file, so it's PNG, but usually the PNG, whatever is white, will be transparent. I say usually, it's not always the case. So if you have a white background, this one will already be removed. It will be transparent. Let me show you. So I will take these files that I downloaded from uh, Design Bundle. They are free in the free sections. You can find them there. You have JPEG and PNG. So I will choose the first one. The first one is a JPEG. And you see that the background is white. So I will use complex, continue. Let me zoom out to show it to you. So this is with the white background. If I click on preview, you see that Design Space doesn't recognize the image. It just recognizes that it's a square. We want to remove the background. With the Select and Erase tool right here that is already selected, you're going to click right here and everything that is white will be removed. So the background is no more. So if I hit preview this way, you see the cactus. But let me continue and this is where you're going to tell Design Space that you want to print and cut because we don't want to cut this shape in a cardstock. We want to cut this image and print it and then cut it. So by selecting this, you're telling Design Space that this image is already for a print and cut. So let me upload it. I'm going to select it and insert it. And now it is pretty big. Let me just scale it a bit. Okay. You see in the layer panel that it's already written print and cut. And in the operation menu, it's also print and cut. So design space already know that this image is for print and cut. You don't need to do anything else. You can go ahead and print it and cut it. Same thing for the PNG. If I upload it, let me upload the PNG file. Let's upload the same file. And now you see that there is no background. It's uh, everything that is white is transparent. So this is where you need to be careful because sometimes there will be some white parts in the design that will also be transparent and that's not really what you want because Design Space is going to cut it. So just be careful. I just wanted to tell you that to be careful for this. But in that case there's no white so we're fine. We're going to continue. Again we're going to select print and cut and tell Design Space we want to print this image. I'm going to insert it and same thing we have already in the layer panel print and cut and the operation menu it's print and cut also so what's going to happen with this is that design space is going to cut all the way around this plant and all the way around the cactus itself so this is pretty simple but if you want to use an svg file and transform it into a print and cut file this is when you're going to need to use flatten so let me erase these two for now. Let me clear this. I'm going to upload a file that I have already used in another video to make some cute uh, vinyl decal on my washer and dryer. So these were the ones, a lot washer and dryer. So I'm going to use these ones. And this one is my little dog. Let me scale it again. It's pretty big. And it says dry. So that's the, the dry dog for my dryer. And it is an SVG file, so you can see the Canva through it. I use it and I cut vinyl with it and it cut all the little pieces to be transferred on my dryer. So since it's an SVG file, if you look at it closely, you'll see in the layer panel that it says basic cut. So what I could do in the operation menu right here, I could choose the standard print then cut. 
So if I do this, in the layer panel, you'll then have print and cut. So if you think about it, would you want your printer to print this dog and then design space to cut it as it would cut vinyl? I think the answer is no. <laughs> because you don't want all these little pieces alone together. You want them attached to something. What you could do if you want is transform this into a sticker. Let's say we do this. So I'm gonna put it back to basic cut. So I'm gonna scale it a bit. Let's say we do a little small sticker and I'm gonna offset this. And we need to wait for the offset to work. So I'm gonna apply. So we have the base of our sticker. Now, if I leave it like that, Design space is going to print the gray and then it's going to cut around. But what we would like to have, I guess, is a white outline. So I'm going to change the color to white. But now you see it in the layer panels. It says basic cut for both of them. The dog is still being cut and that's not what we want. So this is why flatten is useful. So you want to flatten the dog onto the outline that we made because design space will then send it to the printer and the printer would print the dog and design space is going to cut only the outline. So that's what we want. So if I select all, I'm going to duplicate it first because I want to show you another thing you can do with it. So I'm going to do a copy right here, but this one is selected. I'm going to flatten and show you what it does. So you even see it in the layer panel. It has a little preview of what it is. So now it says print then cut. So it's going to print our dog and cut the outline. These two are still at basic cut. What you can do if you want, and I, I want to tell you that, you cannot change the color of the cactus before, but in this case, the dog is a basic cut, so you can put it whatever color you want in order to design space to cut it. So let's say we want a yellow dog, why not? <laughs> and you can also change the background if you want. If you want your printer to also print a background with a certain color, you can select it and click on the background. Let's put it purple. Why not? Ooh. <laughs> so if we select both of them, then we use flatten. This is what happens. So design space will send it to the printer. The printer will print in yellow if you have a colored printer and it will also print a purple background. Now I want to show you something. When you hit make it, this is really important. You can see that we have everything that will be printed by the printer right here. And Design Space assumes that you will be printing on a white paper. That's why you don't see the outline of the dog right here because the outline is not, there's no color, it's white. So your printer won't put any color and only Design Space, only your Cricut will cut the outline so that you have a really nice clean cut. So if it's not the first time you're using Print and Cut and you did like me, you did make it and then you went, why can I see the line? I'm telling you I did that too the first time, so don't worry about it. Just leave me in the comment if that happened to you. I would really like to know. <laughs> so let me cancel this. I'm going to erase them because I want to show you something more. Let me upload back our little cactus. And even though this image is already a print and cut, you could also flatten it on another shape. You don't always need to put your image all the way inside the shape. So I want to show you what you can do. Let me put this white. I will even put some text to show you. That's right, can't touch this. <laughs> so I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna align center. I'm not gonna bother choosing a font, but I'm just gonna put it right here to show you. So. This is what I have, and if I flatten everything, let me select all and flatten. Now everything is on one layer as a print and cut. So you see it right here, don't worry if the, the plant is black, it's still a little normal, it will print in color, don't worry. So what you also can do if you want to see better what I did, you can change can the color of the canva. I don't know if you knew that, that's pretty cool. So let me put it gray so you see really the sticker very well. So I did this by clicking right here and changing the color. So now what your Cricut will do, you're going to print this and once it's printed, the Cricut will cut right here on the white, we'll stop, follow the uh, planter and then continue right here on the, the circle and then follow the cactus. So that's very, very fun. You can do so many things with that. So if I click on make it, 
again, you won't see the circle. The white circle is not there because you're not printing anything. You're not, there's no color there. So that's totally normal. So if you have learned a lot of tips right now, please click the like button. I would really appreciate it. So a couple of things I want to show you that are very important is that there is a limit to print and cut. Okay, so if you scale your image very big, there will be a little notification right here that will tell you the maximum size of the image. So if I click on it, you will see it there. It's 6.75 by 9.25. So remember that. So if you ever see that little symbol, just scale down your design. Also, if you want to do a whole page of a lot of small stickers, sometimes Design Space has trouble uh, processing this. It takes a lot of time. So you might need to remove a couple of stickers and do it by steps. I just want to tell you because sometimes people are very, are looking why it's not working. So that might be the reason. Another thing I want to tell you is that you can print on colored cardstock. No problem. If your printer can do it, no problem. The thing is that sometimes the Cricut has trouble reading the black line. Remember the black line when you hit make it? You have a black line that is right here. This is what is used by the Cricut to position the image, to know where the image is on your page. So some Cricut have problem reading this black line when it's on colored cardstock. The three Cricuts that can really do it well is the Maker, the Maker 3, and now the Explore 3, so that's good. If you ever cut on some paper that is pretty shiny. Sometimes the Cricut, this little light, has trouble reading it if there's a lot of reflection and everything. So sometimes you can use your light, dim your light or make your light brighter. Or you can also use, let's say, a Sharpie and write all over the, this black square and you, your Cricut will probably be able to read it better. So these are troubleshooting that you can do if you try to print and cut and it doesn't work. So don't forget to go and download the free cheat sheet and I will put the video that I promised you right here and also another video that is pretty fun for a print and cut project. See you later. Bye.